Chapter 22 of The Fortune Hunter, a novel of New York Society by Anna Cora Mowat. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Kelly Taylor. Nay, nay, sir, why turn pale? Sterling. The day after Mr. Mordaunt's death, Mr. Ellery accidentally encountered Mr. Brainerd in the street. "'My dear Mr. Brainerd, you are the very person I am in search of. "'And now you've found me, speak quickly, my moments are precious. "'This is a happy day with me. "'That's as it may be, but I hope I am in time to prevent you committing a great mistake. "'What do you mean? You, you alarm me. In time? What mistake?' Well, then, I have just discovered that Miss Adair is not worth as much money as will buy her shoestrings. Her fortune has all been dissipated in stock transactions, through the means of those two beggarly brothers of hers. The devil it is! And what is to become of me? You must break it off with her as fast as you can. She only marries you because she thinks that you are a great catch. And now she has caught me sure enough. We were married this morning. The deuce. How could you have been in such a confounded hurry? You have ruined yourself, so I perceive. And now I am too bewildered to know what to do. There is but one consolation, which is that... As Miss Adair has expected to take me in, she will find she is also taken in herself. A poor consolation, truly. If you had only married Aria Walton, you would have done well. The adorable Aria. Do not speak of her. I have not philosophy enough to think on that subject. But you might have if you had not wedded Miss Adair this morning. I learnt from the Clintons last night that Aria has turned out to be an heiress. An heiress! Oh, my luck, my luck! said Brainerd despairingly. And I loved her so dearly, and might have had her if you had not acted like a fool. Do not say a word more, or I shall go mad. I don't see what else you can do. Do! I must fly from Mr. Badger and my bride at the same time. The Great Western sails today. I will dispose of all the valuables I possess and take my passage on board her immediately. But, my dear sir, you owe me a hundred dollars. I beg that you will not forget that. I had your positive promise of payment. If I married an heiress, but, as I did not... You will have to put your debt in the hands of Mr. Badger, and, if he collects it, he will have to take a trip across the Atlantic, for I have made up my mind that my health will not permit me to live in the same country with him, great as he considers that country to be. So adieu. Attribute my exile to Mr. Badger. I hope he will find the means of consoling you." His acquaintance is too much for me. End of The Fortune Hunter A novel of New York Society by Anna Cora Mollett